Hello everyone. We will do one more problem in uh, simplex method. Maximization of z is equal to 2x1 plus 3x2 plus 4x3 subject to the constraints. First constraint, second constraint, third constraint. Three constraints are given. Now first before going to start the simplex method, we will convert the given problem into the standard form. To convert the standard form, first we have to check the whether objective function is in the maximization case or minimization case. If it is maximization type, no need to touch, just we can write as it is Lee. max z is equal to the given L LPP in the given objective function, we can write as it is Lee. The first constraint is having less than or equal to symbol, second constraint is also having less than or equal to symbol, third constraint is also having less than or equal to symbol. In order to make these three constraints into the equation form, we have to add three slack variables on the LHS side of the constraints. The first one plus S1 is equal to 2, say S2 is equal to 10, S3 is equal to 10. Like this, we converted the given LPP into the standard form. After that, we have to start the simplex table. Now, the simplex table, how to draw, I will tell you. Now, the simplex table is in this form. First of all, we have to draw like this. First column is for CB. The second column is for basic variables. The third column is body of the simplex table. Body of the simplex table. Here in our problem, how many variables are there? If you observe how many variables are there, we have X1, X2, X3, S1, S2, S3. Six variables are there. That's why I wrote X1, X2, X3, S1, S2, S3. The next column is for constant term. Constant term. The last column is the minimum ratio that is for minimum ratio now after writing like this now the next we have to write cj in the above on the above on above table we have to write cj value the, this one we have to write using the objective function if you observe the objective function coefficient of x1 is 2 coefficient of x2 is 3 coefficient of x3 is 4 is there any s1 coefficient there is no s1 s2 s3 in the objective function that's why 0 0 0 we have to write now coefficient of x1 we have to write above x1 2 coefficient of x3 we have to write above x2 coefficient of x3 above x4 we have to write there is no s1 s2 s3 that's why 0 0 0 now after that we have to write the body of the simplex table using the constraints using the values of the constraints coefficients of the constraints we have to write the body of the simplex table now the first constraint is having coefficient of x1 is minus 1 coefficient of x1 is minus 1 minus 5 minus 9 s1 is the coefficient of 1 s2 s3 0 constant is 2 now the second coefficient of x1 is 3 coefficient of x2 is minus 1, coefficient of x3 is 1, coefficient of s1 0, s2 is 1, s3 is 0 is equal to 10. Second, third constraint is coefficient of x1 2, x2 is 3, x3 is minus 7, 0, 0, 1. RHS side also is equal to 0. Then we have to draw one line like this. After that, the basic variables and CB column we have to fill. How to fill the basic variable? Which variables are called basic variable? I will tell you. Now, if you close this one like this. Here, we will get identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Wherever you get the identity matrix, that variables are called basic variables. Here, we have, I, we have got identity matrix near S1, S2, S3. That's why S1, S2, S3 are basic variables, are basis, simply basis. S1, S2, S3 is the basis because wherever identity matrix occurs, that elements are called basis. Now, coefficient of basic variables is above S1, how much is there? 0. Above S2, how much is there? 0. Above S3, how much is there? 0. That's why we have to fill 0, 0, 0. And after that, we'll draw one more line like this. This row is called index row. How to calculate this index row? This row is called index row. Now, in index row elements using the formula Zj minus Cj. Using the column Zj minus Cj, we have to... Using the column Zj minus Cj, we have to find the values of Zj minus Cj. We have to find the values of index row elements index row how to calculate index row now i will tell you index row how to calculate this is cb column into first column minus cj here we should write that means 0 into minus 1 plus 0 into 3 plus 0 into 2 minus 2 that one we should write here 
in the same way 0 into minus 5 the cb column into x2 column minus 3 here we should write now the cb column into x3 column minus cj value here we should write in the same way the remaining also now this is the basic simplex table that's why here zeros all zeros are there if you multiply also 0 into anything is 0 you will get 0 minus this one that's why whatever the values occur here whatever the values occur here the quite opposite values only we will get minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 0 0 0 now here 2 is there that's why minus 2 here 3 is there minus 3 4 is there minus 4 this is only for base, base uh, sim, uh, basic table initial table only now from the next uh, iteration onwards we have to calculate carefully now zj minus cj we calculated using using this formula zj minus cj now after that <coughs> we have to start the simplex procedure the simplex procedure while starting the simplex procedure you have to uh, identify the most minimum value or most negative value from the index row here if you observe it carefully the most minimum the most minimum is minus 4 minus 4 is the most minimum value in the index row now i choose the x3 column i choose the i have put one arrow like this that means i choose the x3 column now coming to the minimum ratio coming to the minimum ratio here minimum ratio how to calculate this constant by this chooser column whatever the chooser column is there constant by 2 by minus 9 here 10 by 1 here 0 by minus 7 2 by minus 1 is negative 10 by 1 is 10 0 by minus 7 is negative just to you have to uh, you have to ignore here minimum ratio while calculating the minimum ratio any negative values are infinity you have to just ignore ignore that means do not touch that one just omit or ignore out of po from positive values and zeros only we have to calculate the minimum value here 0 by minus 7 is negative 2 by minus 9 is negative that's why I am ignoring these two the only positive value is 10 the only positive value is 10 therefore what we have to do we have, i choose the second row that means i choose the second row i choose the third column the coincide value is if you come like this the coincide value is 1 here the coincide value is 1 after that here what is the meaning of i choose the second row means s2 is if you come like this s2 is leaving variable whereas x3 is entering variable s3 is leaving the basis and x3 is entering the basis 0 s1 first row i'll write as it is lee. first row means 0 s1 i'll write as it is lee. now here second row s2 is leaving the basis whereas x3 is entering above x3 how much is there 4 is there 4 uh, x3 and 0 s3 as it is lee, i will write now after that what we have to do the procedure of simplex is we have to convert we have to convert the pivot element this box element is called pivot element we have to convert the pivot element into one and the above and below elements into zeros already in the inside of the pivot element we have one that's why we will write as it is hmm? now otherwise if it is there in some other value we have to convert that into one here inside of the pivot we have already one is there that's why i'm writing as it is lee. three minus one one zero one zero ten as it is lee, i wrote and after that what is our work i have to convert this minus nine into zero as well as minus seven into zero by doing some elementary row transformations to do that one I'll take one rough paper. Now, in that one, whatever the value we are going to convert into zero, that row first we have to write. That is called old row. Old row is O L D. Old row. Old row is minus one, minus five, minus nine, one, zero, zero, two. Whatever the element, this minus nine, I am going to convert into zero. This I am going to convert this minus nine into zero. That row is called old row. I have to write first. We have to write that row. After that, after the converting the pivot element into 1, whatever you have got, here 1 is there, that's why we wrote as it is. Otherwise, we have to convert the pivot row into 1. 
after converting the pivot element into one whatever the row you have got that row we should write uh, be below that uh, old row new, that is called new row after converting the pivot element into one whatever the row you have got that one we should write below the uh, that row that is um, i'll write that is uh, 3 minus 1 1 0 1 0 10 now here in the second place or third place in the third place the minus 9 in third place we have to get 0 here we have to get 0 we have to get 0 here here to get a 0 here to get 0 here we have to multiply the new row always multiply the new row we have to get a 0 here to get 0 here I have to multiply the new row with 9 so that uh, what you will get we will see minus 1 minus 5 minus 9 1 0 0 2 first row old row as it is I wrote the new row after multiplying with 9 I will write 9 3s are 27 minus 9 9 0 9 0 90 now by adding you will get 0 here 0 how to get 0 here by adding we will get 0 otherwise if by subtracting if you get 0 we have to subtract here but if you observe by adding these two elements only we are getting 0 now I am adding uh, 27 minus 1 is 26 minus 9 minus 5 is minus 14 1 plus 0 is 1 0 plus 9 is 9 0 90 plus 2 is 92 now I will write as it is here 26 minus 14 0 1 9 0 92 now i converted the pivot element above element into zero by doing some elementary row transformations ref work now after that my work is i have to convert this element into zero by doing some elementary row transformation now whatever the row whatever the value we are going to convert into zero that row we should write that is called that is called old row again i am writing the old row whatever the element i am going to convert into zero this element i am going to convert into zero that means i will write the entire row tell me the entire row here we will get um, 2 3 minus 7 0 0 1 0 2 3 minus 7 0 0 1 0 now after that new row what is new row after converting the pivot element into 1 whatever the row you have got that one we have to write that one as 3 minus 1 1 0 1 0 10 that is the new row always old row first and next to new row after that in which place i have to get 0 here third place here to get 0 here i have to get 0 here how to get 0 here to get 0 here we have to multiply the new row with 7 that's why i'll write old row as it is once again 2 3 minus 7 0 0 1 0 second row new row multiply with 7 7 3s are 21 7 into minus 1 minus 7 7 into 1 7 7 into 0 0 7 into 1 7 7 into 0 7 into 0 0 7 into 10 70 now by adding these two lines by adding these two lines we will get 0 here 2 plus 21 23 minus 7 plus 3 is minus 4 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 7 is 7 1 plus 0 is 1 70 plus 0 is 70 Like this we will get. Now I will write here. 23 minus 4. 0. 0. 7. 1. 70. Now index row. I will draw one more line like this. This is index row. Now we have to calculate the index row elements as usual using the formula zj minus cj zj minus cj how to calculate 0 this cb column into the first column that means 0 into 26 plus 4 into 3 plus 0 into 23 minus cj minus cj minus 2 like that we have to calculate 0 huh? 4 3 is at 12 
प्लस जीरो ट्वेल्व माइनस टू ट्वेल्व माइनस टू इज ट्वेल्व माइनस टू इज टेन नेक्स्ट हियर द नेक्स्ट वन इज जीरो फोर इंटू माइनस वन इज माइनस फोर माइनस फोर माइनस प्लस फोर इज माइनस फोर माइनस फोर इज माइनस दिस इज इज जीरो फोर इंटू माइनस वन इज माइनस फोर दिस इज जीरो माइनस थ्री माइनस सेवन नाउ हियर द नेक्स्ट वन जीरो फोर जीरो माइनस वन जीरो माइनस जीरो जीरो द नेक्स्ट वन जीरो फोर इंटू जीरो इज जीरो जीरो इंटू जीरो इज जीरो माइनस जीरो जीरो हियर जीरो फोर इंटू वन इज फोर जीरो फोर नेक्स्ट जीरो 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 माइनस जीरो जीरो नेक्स्ट दिस इंटू जीरो नाइन जीरो इंटू नाइंटी टू इज जीरो प्लस फोर इंटू टेन इज फोर्टी जीरो इंटू सेवेंटी सेवेंटी दैट इज फोर्टी नाउ हियर अगेन वेन वी हाउ मेनी आइट्रेशन वी हैव टू परफॉर्म लाइक दिस वी हैव टू परफॉर्म लाइक दिस अंटिल वी गेट ऑल द इंडेक्स रो एलिमेंट्स आर ग्रेटर दैन आर इक्वल टू जीरो इफ यू गेट ऑल द इंडेक्स रो एलिमेंट्स आर ग्रेटर दैन आर इक्वल टू जीरो देन ओनली वी कैन स्टॉप आइट्रेशन देर फॉर वी कैन राइट वी रीच द ऑप्टिमम सोल्यूशन और ऑप्टिमम सोल्यू वी ऑप्टिमल कंडीशन देर फॉर मैक्स इज इक्वल टू वी कैन राइट बट हियर वी डिड नॉट रीच द ऑप्टिमल कंडीशन बिकॉज वन वैल्यू इज देर माइनस सेवन वे माइ नेगेटिव वैल्यू दैट्स वाई द मोस्ट मिनिमम इन द इंडेक्स रो अगेन द प्रोसीजर ऑफ सिंप्लेक्स आउट ऑफ कंप्लीट इंडेक्स रो द मोस्ट मिनिमम इज माइनस सेवन पुट वन एरो फॉर दैट माइनस सेवन एंड कमिंग टू द इन इंडेक्स मिनिमम रेशियो दैट मीन्स आई पुट एरो मीन्स वॉट आई चूज द सेकेंड कॉलम आई चूज द सेकेंड कॉलम नाउ हियर मिनिमम रेशियो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट मिनिमम रेशियो दिस कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू बाई दिस चूज कॉलम वैल्यू नाइंटी टू बाई माइनस फोर्टीन टेन बाय माइनस वन सेवेंटीन बाय माइनस फोर लाइक दैट नाइंटी टू बाय माइनस फोर्टीन इज नेगेटिव टेन बाय माइनस वन इज नेगेटिव सेवेंटी बाय माइनस फोर इज इक्वल टू नेगेटिव नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू बाई दिस चूज कॉलम कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू बाई दिस चूज कॉलम वैल्यूज इफ यू राइट वी आर गेटिंग ऑल द थ्री नेगेटिव वैल्यूज नाउ मिनिमम रेशियो हाउ टू चूज वी हैव टू चूज आउट फ्रॉम द मिनिमम वैल्यू वी हैव टू चूज फ्रॉम पॉजिटिव वैल्यूज एंड जीरो वैल्यूज फ्रॉम जीरो एंड पॉजिटिव वैल्यूज ओनली नाउ इफ ऑल द वैल्यूज ऑफ द मिनिमम रेशियो इज नेगेटिव देर फोर देर फोर द प्रॉब्लम हैज अनबाउंडेड सोल्यूशन वेन एवर यू गेट सच टाइप ऑफ सिचुएशन all are either infinity or negative all the minimum ratio values are either zero and infinity therefore we can write the problem has unbounded solution now i'll write i'll uh, i'll tell you how to, what to write all the elements all the elements of the pivot element pivot element कॉलम पीवोट कॉलम पीवोट कॉलम आर नेगेटिव दैट मीन्स पीवोट कॉलम दिस इज वट इज द पीवोट कॉलम दिस इज द पीवोट कॉलम वी चूज दिस कॉलम न द पीवोट कॉलम इज दिस वन ऑल द एलिमेंट्स इन द पीवोट कॉलम इज नेगेटिव देर फोर द प्रॉब्लम हैज द problem has the problem has unbounded solution thank you very much